here on A Plus Sim Racing. We're back at Long Beach in AMS2 because I just can't get enough of this track. In this video, we're hot lapping with each of the Corvettes in Automobilista 2 from the three different classes, uh, and that is the Vintage Touring Cars, the GT Classics, and the GTE. This is the CAR GTE. It is the uh, the winner from the GTE class of the Mons 24 hour this year. It's got a 5.5 liter flat plane crank V8, naturally aspirated uh, mid engine. It puts out 526 horsepower with 637 newton meters of torque, weighs 1328 kilograms, and a six speed sequential. This Corvette, being mid engine, is unlike any other Corvette before it. So it handles a little bit differently but it's still a lot of fun to rip around here at Long Beach. I'm definitely not the fastest in this car. Um, I'm on the, the top half of the leaderboard somewhere, so it's not bad. There's definitely room for improvement. So let's get on board and enjoy a lap around Long Beach in the driver's seat of the Corvette C8R. Not great, but it's not bad. With a bit of work, I might be able to squeeze into the top 100. Next, we have the Corvette C3 from the Vintage Touring Car Tier 1 class in AMS2. Um, so this is from 1973. It's got a 7 liter naturally aspirated V8 that puts out 307 horsepower. And it has 515 newton meters of torque, weighing 1520 kilos. It has a 4-speed H-pattern shifter. Um, I don't have one of those, so I'm using my sequential paddle shifters in my uh, rig here. As you can see, this car is a little bit slidey. It's a lot of fun to throw around the track. It doesn't have any traction control or any of those driver assists, so it's all about the driver. But it doesn't have so much power that it's unmanageable. You can, you can really push it, throw it around, spin up the tires, have a little bit of fun. And it's pretty easy to catch those slides and keep going. Just like that turn there, you keep your foot down and just do a little bit of counter steer. These old Corvettes are definitely in my top 10 list of favorite cars. Even though the later C3s were a little bit lackluster with the, uh, the need for fuel economy at the time, oil crisis and whatnot, the earlier ones were really something special. We're going to get to that in a couple minutes. So let's uh, get on board this uh, 1973 Vintage Touring Car Tier 1 C3 Corvette in AMS2 and take a look at the fun little lap around Long Beach.
this lap is currently my personal best at a 140.941, which puts me at the top of the leaderboard. Which, granted, there aren't as many entries as the GTE, but I'll take it. That doesn't happen often, so I'll enjoy it while it lasts. Next up, we have from 1972, from the GT Classics Group in AMS2, Corvette C3R with a 7-liter naturally aspirated V8, putting out 504 horsepower with 698 newton meters of torque, weighing 1,380 kilograms. That's quite a lot of horsepower compared to the last car, at least. Um, and we consider that it has no traction control, no driver assist, whatever. It's all about you and the car. It's very spicy, let me tell you. It was a lot of fun throwing it around Long Beach. Actually, this lap was the reason why I made this video. Before, I, I wasn't even thinking about making any content. I just wanted to rip around Long Beach in some Corvettes, have a little bit of fun. And after I did this, uh, I decided I'd go back and record the replay and do the other two Corvettes while I was at it. When we get on board in just a second here, you'll notice that there's no steering wheel animation and the mirror is blacked out because that's how my settings normally are um, to try and get optimal performance when I'm racing online with the uh, Canon and the SimSport community or just online in general, which admittedly I don't do too much in AMS2. I do that more in uh, race room. So let's get on board this beautiful machine and throw it around Long Beach. to put me on page one on the leaderboard. Thanks for watching. I really enjoyed that. I hope you did too. Take care, and I'll see you next time.